Because of the number of markets that we have, which is 11, um, the way we've been able to cope with that is actually have two levels of management. We have three people that work in the office, and I'm one of those people. We are full-time, salaried, benefited employees, and we are really the bridge between market staff and Ann and Bernie as the market, as the organization's directors. And between the three of us, we manage 11 markets, and we also oversee our staff on the ground, and we call those people market masters. And those are the people that are really at the markets, open to close every day. The three of us in the office, who are the market managers, spend half of our time roughly in the office doing the day-to-day -day things that need management every week that turns over for the markets. And then we spend part of our time at the markets with the market masters talking to farmers and customers. The job descriptions for our market staff evolve as our work evolves. Um, with an increase in community outreach, those job descriptions are now um, written to include that in the work. So there's definitely market operations, what has to happen three times a week without fail, um, confirming vendors, um, vendor relations, if it's um, token management, all the back office finance systems, all of those are line item to the job description. Additionally, the community outreach and programming. So we have three markets that we run a week. Um, we have three full-time staff members. Um, again, this is something where the work is ongoing. It would be really difficult for us to tally up how many hours we're dedicated to it. Um, but one thing with, um, with job description and, and how you're structuring pay, uh, it depends on what resources you have. You need to look at how much earned income you have coming in, um, what your business model is, if it's grant driven, um, and really take a, a good hard look at that and decide what's sustainable, what you'll be able um, to do, not just this year, but also two years ahead, four years ahead, ten years ahead. Our market manager job, job description kind of go, just gives a general overview of the duties that you have to do at market, um, kind of the skills required, and r really the information comes when we bring people in for an interview and we describe, the two most important things we do in an interview are describe a day in the life of a market manager at the market between 5.30 and 6 in the morning, getting the farmers set up, make sure they're tied down, everything's labeled, the price signs are out, the market is safe, they have parking, and then they move into like a, a more promotions, uh, they get more promotions minded, they kind of make the flip at 10 or 11 in the morning after they've done the report and had the farmer sign off on the space that they're taking, and then they do promotions the rest of the day, flyering in the neighborhood, cooking demos, that kind of thing. So we have to describe to the managers, you know, kind of what they're going to be doing all day. The second part is um, describing kind of the things you wouldn't know about running a farmer's market. Um, a lot of our market managers that start are idealizing what it's like to work with farmers or work at a market or run an event. And the, the fact is that they're, these are outdoor events on the street in New York, and there are a lot of logistics and nuts and bolts that people, I think, don't necessarily consider. And so we tell them, you know, you're going to be, you're going to have to carry sometimes this much weight. You're going to have to, you have to be sometimes at a market that's an hour from your home at six in the morning. You're going to have to maybe drive a van. All of these kind of, we call it the dirty dozen. It's 12 things that you maybe didn't know. And um, honestly, this year we were, we were very clear and about um, the things that that aren't so attractive about the job, which I think is market-wide. Everybody has a few things you have to do. Um, and it weeded out some people. Some people that we invited to, to work with us decided not to for one reason or another, but that's better for us. It's better to not get three weeks, four weeks into the season and have someone say, oh, I, I didn't know I would have to carry 30 pounds to my market every day worth of recipes and market equipment and things. So, um, so we start with a really solid group that knows what they're in for. And, uh, and, and that's really the best thing we can do is give everybody all the information they need before their market opens. Our organization at this point has grown to the point where we've got full-time administrative staff and a bookkeeper and a special events coordinator and an office manager, uh, a, a manager of operations. I know that sounds bureaucratic, but we're large enough and, and it's actually sort of a bare-bones staff at this point. Um, to go back and think back to the time when we were a single market with a single market manager, um, I'd have to say 
and that was my job originally, uh, that's a huge job. And um, in those days, you know, the market manager was responsible for finding farmers, farmer contracts, uh, fiscal maintenance, marketing and promotion, community relations, day of market operations. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Um, I'd have to really dig deep into the files to find that original job description for what constitutes a market manager. Um, at this point, our market managers are day of. And they're the first ones here and the last ones to leave. They have to ensure that the mark farmers arrive on time, they're set up, that everything's proper and legal, that all the permits are in place, that the health department requirements are met. Uh, they collect the fees at the end of the day. They're responsible for all vendor concerns, all customer concerns. They talk to the media on site. I mean, it's a, even, the, even if it's a day of job, it's a huge job. Thank you.